dear children let us learn today about compounds of carbon and silicon let us first begin with the compound carbon monoxide let us discuss its preparation carbon monoxide is a constituent of water gas also called synthesis gas which is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen do you know how this water gas is formed it is formed by passing steam over red hot coke have a look at the equation on the screen carbon reacts with steam to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen carbon monoxide can be separated by liquefaction if air is passed over red hot coke instead of steam producer gas is formed which is a mixture of carbon monoxide and nitrogen from producer gas carbon monoxide can be removed by liquefaction carbon monoxide can be prepared by passing carbon dioxide through red hot charcoal it is a reversible reaction oxides of certain metals upon heating with powdered coke are reduced to carbon monoxide zinc oxide when heated with carbon forms zinc and carbon monoxide lead oxide reacts with carbon when heated to form lead and carbon monoxide ferric oxide reacts with carbon when heated to form iron and carbon monoxide let us now learn about the laboratory preparation of carbon monoxide in the laboratory carbon monoxide can be prepared by the rehydration of formic acid with concentrated sulfuric acid it can also be prepared by heating potassium ferrocyanide with concentrated sulfuric acid to form potassium sulfate ferrous sulfate and hydrogen cyanide let us have a look at the step wise reactions 6 moles of hydrogen cyanide reacts with 12 moles of water to form 6 moles of formic acid and 6 moles of ammonia 6 moles of formic acid decomposes to 6 moles of water and 6 moles of carbon monoxide 6 moles of ammonia reacts with 3 moles of sulfuric acid to form 3 moles of ammonium sulfate therefore the overall reaction can be written as potassium ferrocyanide plus 6 moles of sulfuric acid plus 6 moles of water which is equal to 2 moles of potassium sulfate plus ferrous sulfate plus 3 moles of ammonium sulfate plus 6 moles of carbon monoxide children now we will learn about structure of carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is isoelectronic with nitrogen molecule and both have 14 electrons its electronic configuration is as shown on the screen it is a hybrid of the contributing structures shown on the screen let us now learn about the properties of carbon monoxide we will first begin with the physical properties it is a colorless odorless gas and is only slightly soluble in water this means that 100 volumes of water dissolves 3 volumes of carbon monoxide at 273 kelvin it can be liquefied at 181 kelvin and solidified at 65 kelvin carbon monoxide is highly poisonous or toxic in nature its poisonous character is due to its tendency to combine with hemoglobin present in blood to form carboxyhemoglobin 
It is a stable complex and is about 309 times more stable than oxygen hemoglobin complex. This prevents hemoglobin from carrying oxygen to different parts of the body. This will lead to suffocation and ultimately to death. We will now learn about the chemical properties. Let us learn about its combustibility. Carbon monoxide burns in oxygen or air with a blue flame to form carbon dioxide. What about action towards litmus paper? There is no change in color of litmus paper as carbon monoxide is neutral. Carbon monoxide acts as a powerful reducing agent and reduces a number of metal oxides upon heating. Let us have a look at the equations one by one. Zinc oxide reacts with carbon monoxide to form zinc and carbon dioxide. Copper oxide reacts with carbon monoxide to form copper and carbon dioxide. Ferrous oxide reacts with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. We will next learn about action with sodium hydroxide. It reacts with sodium hydroxide under pressure to form sodium formate. Next is formation of metal carbonyls. Carbon monoxide combines with a number of transition metals like iron, nickel, cobalt, etc. under different conditions to form compounds called metal carbonyls. Let us have a look at the equations shown on the screen. Nickel reacts with carbon monoxide to form nickel tetracarbonyl. Iron reacts with carbon monoxide to form pentacarbonyl iron. In the metal carbonyls, carbon monoxide acts as an electron donor species and forms complexes with transition metals. The carbonyls decompose upon heating. The purification of nickel by Mond's process is based on the formation of nickel carbonyl. Nickel when heated reacts with carbon monoxide to form nickel tetracarbonyl. This compound when heated at 450 to 470 Kelvin forms nickel and carbon monoxide. We will next learn about formation of addition compounds. Since the octet of carbon is not complete in its uncharged structure, Carbon monoxide behaves as an unsaturated oxide and forms a number of additional compounds with hydrogen, chlorine, sulfur, etc. For example, carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen in presence of zinc oxide at 673 Kelvin to form methyl alcohol. Carbon monoxide reacts with chlorine in presence of sunlight to form phosgene. Carbon monoxide reacts with sulfur when heated to form carbonyl sulfide. We will next learn about uses of carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a constituent of fuel gases which is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen and produce a gas which is a mixture of carbon monoxide and nitrogen. It is used for the refining of nickel because nickel carbonyl upon heating decomposes to give metal and carbon monoxide. It acts as a reducing agent in certain metallurgical operations. It is used in the preparation of a number of useful compounds like methyl alcohol, sodium formate, synthetic petrol, etc. Iron carbonyl is used in the manufacture of magnetic tapes for recorders and for videos. Let us now learn about 
carbon dioxide. We will begin with its preparation. It can be prepared by the combustion of coal, coke and a number of hydrocarbons which act as fuels. Carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Methane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. It can also be obtained by the thermal decomposition of certain carbonates of non-alkali metals. Calcium carbonate on heating decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Magnesium carbonate decomposes on heating to form magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. It can be prepared by the action of dilute acids on certain carbonates and bicarbonates of metals. Sodium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. Sodium bicarbonate reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to form sodium hydrogen sulfate, water and carbon dioxide. In the laboratory, carbon dioxide is prepared by the action of dilute hydrochloric acid on calcium carbonate. On commercial scale, carbon dioxide is obtained as a byproduct in the decomposition of limestone to form lime and in the manufacture of ethyl alcohol as a result of fermentation of glucose present in cane sugar. Let us now discuss the physical properties of carbon dioxide. It is a colorless odorless gas and is 1.5 times heavier than air. Carbon dioxide is fairly soluble in water and its solubility increases upon increasing the pressure. Unlike carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide is non-poisonous. However, both human beings and animals die in the atmosphere of carbon dioxide due to non-availability of oxygen. Carbon dioxide can be liquefied at room temperature under 50 to 60 atmospheres pressure. When temperature of liquid carbon dioxide is lowered to evaporate suddenly, it solidifies to form a snow-like mass called dry ice. Do you know what is dry ice? Let me tell you. Solid carbon dioxide no dry ice da na ditta janda hai. E ordinary ice to different hondi hai. Kyunki e na ta melt hondi hai ate na hi apne surface no gilla kar di hai. Dry ice no refrigerant which dry cold de na naal vartya janda hai. It can be used as a substitute for ice in cold drinks and in ice creams. It acts as coolant to preserve perishable food articles. A mixture of dry ice and ether can produce a very low temperature of the order of 165 Kelvin or minus 108 degrees Celsius and can be used in cold baths for carrying reactions at extremely low temperature. Let us discuss few important chemical properties of carbon dioxide. Combustibility. Carbon dioxide is neither combustible nor supporter of combustion. However, a number of burning metals like sodium, potassium, magnesium, etc. continue burning in a jar of carbon dioxide. We will now discuss about acidic nature of carbon dioxide. Aqueous solution of carbon dioxide is weakly acidic due to the formation of carbonic acid. It is a diabasic acid and therefore forms two types of salts when reacted with bases. Let us next discuss action of carbon dioxide with lime water. When carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, Milkiness appears due to the formation of insoluble calcium carbonate. However, on passing the gas in excess, 
milkiness disappears because insoluble calcium carbonate changes to soluble calcium bicarbonate. Let us now learn about photosynthesis. Atmosphere which carbon dioxide di matra volume de mutabak 0.03% hai. Eh green plants which majud green coloring matter known as chlorophyll duara photosynthesis di parikriya rahi remove kiti jandi hai. As a result, carbon dioxide carbohydrate which convert ho jandi hai, jo ki plants, animals, and human beings lie essential food hai. Fossil fuel de decomposition ate cement de manufacture de doran limestone de combustion rahi carbon dioxide constantly atmosphere which release kiti jandi hai. Kai sala to atmosphere which carbon dioxide contents which ijafa ho riha hai. Is de natije de tor te greenhouse effect vad riha hai jo ki global warming da karan hai. This is likely to have serious harmful effects. However, carbon dioxide itself is non poisonous in nature. Structure of carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide is a linear molecule as it has zero dipole moment. Its electronic structure may be represented as shown on the screen. According to the above structure, C double bond O bond length must be 110 picometer but is actually 115 picometer. This means that simple double bonded structure is inadequate to represent the molecule and it is a hybrid of the contributing structures shown on the screen. Children, we will now learn about uses of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is used in aerated waters for cold drinks. It is used in fire extinguishers since it does not support combustion. It is used in the manufacture of sodium carbamate and white lead. Carbon dioxide is used in the manufacture of urea that is NH2CONH2 which is a very useful fertilizer. It is used as refrigerant in the form of dry ice. A mixture of carbon dioxide and oxygen is known as carbogen. It is given for artificial respiration to the victims of carbon monoxide poisoning. Silicon dioxide, commonly known as silica or sand, occurs in a number of crystalline forms. Out of these, quartz, crystobalite flint and tridymy are some common forms which are interconvertible at certain suitable temperatures. Silicon dioxide or silica is a covalent three-dimensional network solid in which each silicon atom is linked to four oxygen atoms through covalent bonds. This leads to giant eight-membered rings as shown on screen. Carbon dioxide is a gas while silicon dioxide is a solid. Chalo carbon dioxide de gaseous nature ate silicon dioxide de crystalline structure bare janiye. Carbon dioxide which carbon atom oxygen atoms nal double bond duara jade honde han. Kyunki pi bond involved in double bond can be very easily formed by the lateral overlap involving two p orbitals of carbon and oxygen which have nearly the same energy is current carbon dioxide exists as discrete or individual molecule 
with very weak van der Waals forces of attraction in them. However, silicon oxygen double bonds are not possible since sidewise overlap cannot take place between 3p orbital of silicon and 2p orbital of oxygen due to difference in their energies. The two atoms can be linked by single bonds and this leads to a giant network structure resulting in a solid. Properties of silica Silica is a crystalline solid which occurs in a number of forms. It has a very high melting point that is about 1710 degrees Celsius as well as boiling point that is 2230 degrees Celsius. Silica is insoluble in water. Silica resists the action by hydrogen, halogens and acids even at high temperature. However, it is attacked both by hydrogen fluoride and sodium hydroxide. When silica is heated with magnesium, amorphous variety of silicon is formed. Similarly, upon heating quartz with carbon in an electric furnace, crystalline variety of silicon is formed. Uses of silica Silica is used in the manufacture of glass, ceramics, abrasives. It is a source of ferrosilicon and elemental silicon. Quartz is extremely useful as a piezoelectric material. It has now become possible to develop extremely accurate clocks, special camera lenses and it is also helpful in improving radio and television broadcasting system. Silica gel is a very useful drying agent and a chromatographic material. Let us now learn about silicones. Silicones are the synthetic organosilicone polymers containing SiOSI -S linkages. These are represented by the general formula R2SiO whole N in which R may be alkyl that is methyl, ethyl or phenyl groups. Since the general empirical formula is similar to a ketone represented as R2SiO or R2CO, the name silicone has been given to these polymers. We will now learn about structure of silicones. Silicones are of two types. These may be either linear polymers or cross-linked in nature. Both of them are formed by the action of SiCl4 or silicon tetrachloride on Grignard reagents followed by hydrolysis leading to polymerization. Linear silicones are formed by the hydrolysis of dichlorosilanes followed by polymerization. Cross-linked silicones are formed by the hydrolysis of trichlorosilanes followed by polymerization as shown on screen. Let us now learn about properties of silicones. Silicones containing small chains are oily liquids. Those with medium chains are viscous and greasy while silicones with long chains are waxy and rubber-like solids. Silicones are stable to heat, chemical reagents and are resistant to oxidation. In other words, these are inert in nature. Silicones are water repellent and also good electrical insulators. We will now learn about Uses of silicones. Silicones are very useful industrial substances. Silicone oils are used in high temperature baths and vacuum pumps. 
These are used in making waterproof cloth and paper. Silicones are used as insulating materials for electrical insulators and other electrical appliances. Vaselines containing silicones act as lubricants in aeroplanes. Silicone rubbers can retain elasticity over a wide range of temperatures and are quite useful. Silicones are mixed with paints and enamels to make them resistant to the effects of chemicals, sunlight and even high temperature. Let us now learn about silicates. Earth's crust which silicate minerals ate aluminosilicates the vaddi matra hai. Mica, asbestos, cement, bricks, tiles, porcelains, glass, pottery etc. Sare silicates de bade hunde han. X-ray studies have shown that the basic structural unit in all these silicates is SiO4, 4 negative tetrahedron, which may be represented as shown on screen. These SiO tetrahedral units can occur singly or in groups sharing one oxygen atom, but never by sharing edges or faces. Depending upon number of tetrahedral units and their linkage, the silicates are of many types. Glass and cement are two important man-made silicates. Children, we will now learn about zeolites. Zeolite is the name given to some aluminosilicates of metals with the general formula as shown on the screen. Where N is the charge on the metal cation while Z is the number of molecules of water hydration. Jede metal cations, zeolite formation which participate karde han, O aksar sodium ion, ate potassium ion, ja calcium ion honde han. Zeolite, pani vi hardness nu remove current lay hydrated form which as ion exchangers use honda hai. Jekar inanu vacuum which thodi der lay heat kita jave. They lose the molecules of water and get dehydrated. Jithe water molecules present sun, uthe pores ja cavities ban jan gya. S tara, they become highly porous and can act as catalyst in certain reactions. The zeolites have in fact a cage like structure in which the size of the pores varies from 200 picometer. To 740 picometer. Only the reactant molecule of a particular size and shape can enter these pores or sieves and get absorbed. If the reactant molecules are of bigger size, they will not enter or be accommodated in these pores. In case they are of smaller size, they will slip through the pores of the zeolites without getting trapped by them. In other words, they will not be absorbed. The zeolites are therefore known as the shape selective catalyst and their activity is linked with pore size. We can also regard these as molecular sieves. For example, popular zeolite sodium aluminosilicate can absorb straight hydrocarbons since their molecules can fit into the pores. Branched hydrocarbons apne smaller size ate aromatic hydrocarbons apne bigger size de karan pores ja sieves de which fit nahi ho sakda. Inna zeolites de help naal jede reactions honde han unna nu shape selective catalyst de na naal janiya janda hai. Zeolites are quite useful as catalysts in the petrochemical industry for carrying out the cracking of certain hydrocarbons and isomerization. In the presence of zeolite ZSM5, which means that zeolite sieve of molecular porosity 5, methanol 
is converted into gasoline of high octane number. It is believed that on the surface of the catalyst, methanol molecules are absorbed and are converted into methylene carbenes. Fire carbenes, kai tarike naal judke, mixture of hydrocarbons, jive methane, ethane, isobutane, n-heptane, iso-octane, benzene, toluene, etc. banaande han. Reaction di completion de baad, air products dissolved ho jande han. Ate leave the sieves and fresh molecules of alcohol are accommodated. Now that we have learned so far, let me ask you a few questions. My first question is, show resonating structures for carbonate and bicarbonate ion. And the answer is, let us have a look at the resonating structures one by one shown on the screen. So I hope that you all have enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson as much as I have enjoyed. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.